Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to draw toothless flying. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eyes. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then come down like this. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down and then it's going to come up right there and there's going to be a little bit of line left off there. We can actually make that a little bit longer. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a little curved line for his pupil. And then I'm going to make a small circle in here. And then I'm just going to color in the rest of this. Now, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up. And it's just going to kind of go out like this. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve all the way back here for his mouth. And then I'm just going to curve down like this, and then come back. And this will be the inside part of his mouth. Then starting here, you want to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up, kind of like in a smiley face. And then starting here, I'm going to make a couple lines for a spike. So I'm going to make a line that curves down and up. I'm going to put another one right here, kind of about the same size, maybe a little bigger. Then I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a really big one that curves out and then comes back. And then I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves up and down like this. And then one right here that just kind of goes up and down. Then back here I'm going to draw one that goes out and then comes down. Kind of like that big one like that's over here. Make it a little bit wider actually. There we go. Now right in here I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down like this for the nose. And then you can either leave his mouth empty like this, or you can add some little bumps for his teeth. You know, he does have the name Toothless for a reason, so it's totally up to you. Now, starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and then up a little bit for his back. And then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes down and then it's going to kind of curve to here for his neck and his chest. Now for his arms, I'm going to draw a line that goes right to here. Then I'm going to make a line that just goes down like this. And then I'm going to take this line and I'm just going to kind of curve it around and go right up to here. And then I'm going to bring this up and over like this. I want it to be like a little bit fatter here and skinnier over here. Now, I'm going to add a little pointy line here for one of his claws. And then I'm going to draw another line that goes down, up, and kind of curves around here for another one. One more here. And then a little one right over here. Then, starting over here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes down. It's going to kind of curve around and come right to this claw. And then it's just going to kind of curve back here. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down and around. Another line here, and then one more here. Then I'm going to make a little line, like a V with a curve on top for another claw. Now, starting right here by this other leg, I'm just going to make a little line that's going to curve. Then I'm going to draw a line here that's just going to go down. I'm going to curve this up and then go over for his other leg. And then add another curved line right here. Then I'm just going to add some claws on here. I'll put two right there and I'll put one more right here, kind of that same curved line motion.
Then right here I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of goes down and then curves in. And then I'll put two little claws on here. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve in and out like this for his wing. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve way back here. Then I'm going to make it real pointy at the end and I'm going to keep this really close to here and as I get towards this point I'm going to slowly make it bigger. Then I'm going to curve it out and then just kind of curve back down. Now right here I'm going to add some little curved lines like this and I'm going to bring these all the way to about here and then just curve them in. Now back here I'm going to draw another line that kind of curves out and then it's going to go up right to about here. I'm going to curve it back and then go right down to here. And this one I'm just going to put one big curve right there. Now I don't have a lot of room for his tail back here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm just going to draw a line to right about here to show where his tail is going to go. And I'm going to make it so it looks like his tail is kind of back here, like it's kind of flowing back. That way we can kind of fit everything in. So right here by his foot, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve down, and then it's going to go up, and then way back here. Then this line, I'm just going to curve it right to here. And then starting up here, not at the end, I'm just going to kind of curve this line around and just make it go really, really small back here, just so it kind of looks like the tail is kind of flowing back here. Then I'm going to add those little kind of fins on the end, so I'm going to draw about three little pointy lines, and we'll do four. And then I'm just going to connect them with some smiley faces like this. Now, I'm going to draw a couple more little lines right here. And I'm going to connect these with some smiley faces as well for some more of those little like fins that he has. Now, on his wings here, I'm just going to draw a couple curved lines that just kind of come back to here. Just going to kind of curve them up. And then I'll do the same to this one. Curve one there. And then on top of here, I'm going to give him just a little bit of an eyebrow. And there you go, there is your drawing of Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. There are lots of different styles and poses you can put him in, but this is just a fun little one for him flying. But there you go, I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.